that's kind of cool, all the uh, sun rays coming through the clouds. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to what is sure to be a chaotic Wednesday. So I'm going off the last plan I heard, and that was we're loading Cameron at 7 a.m. at the Tuna's house. There's one of the cowboys pulling in now, Austin. So him and Justin are going to start getting cattle ready here at the blue shop. We've got three trucks going to be hauling, two custom guys and ours, and it's they're either going to do six loads or nine loads total, not each. That would be crazy. But it all depends on what they weigh, whether we do the last three loads or not today. Well, nobody's here and our truck's not running. And it's three till seven. What happened to loading at seven? I'm not going to start it because it seems obvious the plan changed. And I don't know what that plan change is because I couldn't freaking find anybody last night. <sighs> I'm going to go see if I can find my sweatshirt because I do not know where it is. Good news is I found my sweatshirt at the blue shop. <clears throat> Bad news is, man, I got a lot of crud. Uh, the bad news is, I Snapchat everybody, Blanc is the only one who answered. She goes, I was told we weren't starting till 8. I could, I could have slept a little bit more. That would have been nice after running the tractor last night. So, back to the house we go. Guess I'll find some actual breakfast and... I don't know. Watch TV. Sure, why not? I'm trying to figure out some breakfast. <clears throat> the tuna called. Said the uh, shop door at his house is stuck. About halfway up, so I can't get the feed trucks out. So I guess I'm gonna go hit it with a stick. I, I don't know. We'll see what's wrong. So the motor runs, the pulleys all turn, but the chain doesn't move. So, you know, first thought is, well, it's. Obviously the chain came off or the sprocket came off the shaft, but it's 15 foot in the air. Can't see it. I have a ladder there. Ow. I reached up and tried to pull the uh, little release cord, but couldn't get any leverage on it because by the time I can reach the cord, the top of the ladder is at my knees and everything starts getting all shaky. So I'm going to run this down there. Somebody can stand on it, or somebody can run the hydraulics. I'll stand on it. Let's see if we can't get it that way. Just out of curiosity, I'm just gonna see what happens here because if it's not attached up there at the chain on the pulley, can I just simply lift it? Huh. It does help you looking where I'm looking. Da -da, gentile. Oh yeah, look at that. Except I'm gonna hit the old light. Cool. So the door is good and balanced at least. Da -da 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 -da. Can I reach it? What oh, that part? Shot pull forward. This is this is exciting stuff. I know. Ha! <laughs> I'm a genius. Sure. Now they're ready to load.
there's a window seat for everybody. Just realized I I never hit record on anyway two and a half loads are done now we're going to the hill here to get the last half for this guy and then I think we'll have six more loads here so yeah but in good news well maybe good news Caleb brought donuts and that doesn't happen often so I'm worried she poisoned them she's trying to get rid of me Hey, and the even better news, concrete truck is here. So that, we'll turn the camera. So that slab will be done today. That's cool. All right, more cows, more cows. Cattle are weighing good. Cowboys are over getting another load. Cameron just left with load number seven. Or, no, he's, we didn't put cattle on a cement truck. The semi's behind the trees or something. So cowboys are getting load number eight. Load number nine will also come from here. We'll have to get some out of this close pen. So we're getting there. I haven't been filming much any of it because new cowboys, new truckers, I don't know who wants to be on camera. So I'm not going to put the camera out until I know how they feel about it. Well, yeah. It's 10, 12 minutes of chaos getting them loaded. And then 10, 12 minutes of just standing here staring at the clouds and the sun. You want, you want to do the sun stare game? I already blinked. Aaron's grinding corn. Blanca and Hector are grinding hay. Bart is, I'm sure, doing mechanic things along with Glenn. So yeah, that's kind of where everybody's at this morning. Finally done with cattle. That was a long morning. Started, I'm going to call it 7.30 when we start loading Cameron down there. It's 10.30 now, nine loads, right at 600 head, our biggest day shipping ever. Now we gotta go figure out problems because Bart's out working on the grinder out back, so something's wrong there. They found more problems on the corn planter in reassembly. And our little sprayer on day one's already got a little issue, so let's go see what we got. So here's how the drive motor sets that shaft goes through there that hooks up to the individual row drive i don't know i'd call it like a worm so that'll spin and it spins the seed meter drops seed out the gears aren't supposed to be exposed like that so i'm running to deer because i've been told deers are very similar the frustrating part is had we known this Maddie could have picked it up yesterday in Kansas. She stopped at Oakley, picked up the one they had that they only had one. We were trying to get two in case we needed a spare. She picked up the only one Oakley had. Colby had one. It's like 30 miles away. It's actually on her way to Burlington where she was getting parts for a pickup. She went through Colby and they had one. But now we've got a cylinder, that cylinder that was leaking is in Rocky Ford, so 70 miles that away. And this gear is either back at Colby, so two and a half hours northwest or northeast, Yuma, two and a half hours straight north, or I think I could have sworn he said Dodge City, which I didn't know Dodge City had a case dealer. 
but that's two and a half, three hours, kind of east, southeast. But at the same time, we got to finish manuring so we can unhook the manure spreader to hook up the finisher to even get a field finished and ready to plant corn. Yeah. Yeah. Fan friggin' tastic. Well, between cattle and figuring out parts for the planter, which the, the one part Maddie's going to pick up when she goes to get cattle anyways, it's just 20 mile detour. The other one we found a dealership in Texas, a trucker we know is coming through there, so he was going to stop and grab it on his way by. Hopefully that is all the parts. But figuring all that out, plus the cattle stuff, it took till noon, went to lunch, got family passing through, so we went out to a big lunch. Now here it is, two o'clock, and I'm just getting to the spreader not going to be a real productive day on the farm. Insanely productive day on the cattle side, which as I said before, is kind of the side that makes money this time of year. All Cameron and I are doing is burning diesel fuel. But yeah, let's go see if we can finish that field we were working on yesterday. This process becomes very slow when you struggle to get 20 ton on. God dang. I thought I was going to easily get this done. 80 head of cattle showing up from Lahana. This is the second day. They got two different auction barns up there. I've never talked about that before. Here's where the concrete crew got. Front pad is poured. I seen them on this. I can step on this. All their equipment is gone. They are done. So this will be really nice once this gets enclosed, like I said, for all that stuff. Parts got here for well the parts here the planner. The guy from Texas showed up. Maddie has the cylinder, so we're good there. Planner is ready to be put back together. We got the little sprayer up and going today, so I need to get over to the local supplier and pick up chemical that he's got. So that jug's got a decent amount. That one's decent. I can get that one empty maybe. I don't know. Be nice to empty some of these random totes because I got a crap ton to pick up from him, but there should be enough room here, so maybe that'll be a project for tomorrow morning or Friday morning. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Well, for now. I'm going to go home, grab the dogs, go for a little drive, kind of look around a couple of the farms, wait for the kiddos to get home from their kung fu lesson have some dinner with them and then I will probably head back out on a tractor again. I know Cameron was just talking like he's probably going to go home, have dinner and come back out. Try and get a little more tillage done in the dark so we can make up for a day of almost no tillage. Alright, catch you later.